good morning everybody uh, to the sacred place lumbini um, today i would like to give you a brief introduction of lumbini which is uh, one of the four sacred place uh, in buddhism uh, because uh, historically uh, the lord buddha was born here in lumbini by then lumbini used to be a very uh, beautiful garden full of uh, flora natural flora and fauna um, in modern time uh, we have the evidence of ashoka pillar where uh, king ashoka uh, came after uh, uh, after 20 years of his reign uh, or after 20 years of his internment and king ashoka was said to be arrived here in lumbini with his uh, tempo or uh, teacher uh, upagupta and uh, by then when the king and Upagupta came here in Lumbini, Upagupta actually explained King Ashoka that Buddha was born here. And then uh, since Ashoka was very devoted uh, Buddhist uh, king by then, uh, he actually uh, decided to erect uh, Ashoka pillar here. And at the same time, it was written on Ashoka pillar that he reduced the tax by then. Now to say a very few words about um, the incident that Buddha was born here because normally uh, Buddha uh, stay in Kapilvastu which is about uh, 40 km away uh, to the uh, west from here and according to the tradition um, when, uh, uh, when mother gave a birth uh, the mother used to visit uh, her mother uh, land or maternal town so Buddha's mother, Mai Devi, was traveling to Devda, which is about 40 kilometers again to the uh, east. And uh, uh, Mai Devi, along with her uh, retinue, were crossing from Lumbini. But while she was resting here in these beautiful uh, gardens, she felt a slight pain her, uh, in her womb. And she found that uh, now it, it was time for her to give birth of uh, Buddha. So she took a uh, bath in this pond, which you can see here. Uh, and, uh, and then after that, she uh, at least walk uh, 22 steps to the north and she hold a branch of a tree and gave birth to uh, Siddhartha Gautama, who is later known to be uh, the enlightened one, Buddha. And uh, according to the legend, uh, Buddha actually uh, took at least uh, seven steps to all the four directions. And even after uh, Maya Devi gave birth uh, to uh, uh, the Buddha, they took bath here. And then uh, now what we saw, uh, just we saw inside the Maya Devi temple was the main spot where this, uh, the birth mark, the stone on a birth mark is uh, there. So nowadays, uh, those people who are from around the world uh, who come to Lumbini, they, their main objective is to see the birthmark of the Buddha, where he, for the first time, uh, uh, placed his foot. Uh, it's regarded that. So it was also uh, archaeologically proof that it was um, uh, more than 2006 or seven years ago. So. Um, but uh, historically, if we uh, talk um, uh, from 12th century up to 18th century, the whole Lumbini uh, was uh, hidden in uh, forest. Uh, therefore, you normally do not find much about Lumbini between 12th century and 18th century. But uh, we are lucky that the Ashoka pillar was found by one of the British uh, survey. Somebody, uh, some other scholar also believe that he was a hunter. But anyhow, uh, he discovered uh, the Ashoka pillar here and later it was found that it was the spot where the Buddha was born. So nowadays, uh, Nepal government, um, uh, in collaboration with many other uh, governmental and non-governmental organizations, they have uh, set up this uh, uh, Lumini uh, development area, uh, quite a huge area, where you can find uh, all the three traditions uh, living here. Vajrayana, Mahayana and Theravada. So in Lumbini, this temple is the main, but uh, other than this, uh, you can find uh, places where there are um, uh, Mahani's temple, uh, Theravada temple and Vajrayana temple. So I think uh, I have uh, roughly covered uh, brief accounts about uh, Lumbini. Thank you very much.